It has honestly made things so much quicker for me. And if you are a graphic designer, SVG designer, anything like that where you are using Adobe Illustrator and you have multiple artboards, I need to show you this time-saving trick. It has honestly made things so much quicker for me and you're not gonna wanna miss this. All right, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do in Adobe Illustrator, you're gonna wanna remove the shortcut for Command Q or Control Q. I'm using a Mac, so I'm just gonna speak in Mac words. Command Q quits the whole program. It's annoying. If you know the shortcut for Command W, that closes the window. So if you're used to that and you accidentally hit Command Q, you're gonna be pissed off that you just closed out of everything. You're gonna replace the shortcut Command Q as export. So the reason for this is because most of the other shortcuts are taking up already. I wanted to use something that I never use. So command Q is what I chose, but you can do whatever you want. Well, let me show you how to do that. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna come up to edit and then you're gonna hit keyboard shortcuts. Switch to menu commands, quit. Okay, so you can see this one's used to be there and now it's not. Um, so you can just hit the X to remove something. So let's see. So normally if something is here, you would hit X to remove it. And then you're just gonna type Command Q right there and then hit okay, and that should do it. So before we can export, you're gonna hit Shift O and you can see that I have named all of my artboards. You can quickly do this by going to the artboard menu and then just renaming them or you can come hit Shift O and then change the name up here. So you wanna make sure you're definitely not forgetting this part because this is the whole part of the time saving. Then you're gonna hit Command Q I'm going to save it to the example. I'm gonna use all artboards. I'm gonna do PNG and just save it. And then I'm gonna hit Command Q again. I'm gonna hit SVG, use artboards. And then I'm gonna hit Command Q again and do JPEG, use artboards. Okay, so now I have all of the files exported. Now, if you aren't doing like SVGs, you might not need all these different different file types, but when you are doing SVGs, you know you need a bunch of file types. So this is where the trick comes in. And I'm sorry my dog is back there chewing on a toy, but he's giving himself an occupied, so whatever. Um, so now you're just gonna hit rename and you're gonna do wedding dog bandanas underscore. So the file name for my Adobe file was wedding dog bandanas. And then it does this underscore and it does the title that I gave the artboard. So usually you would see this as, if you didn't name it, it would be underscore zero one, zero two, whatever, and you'd have to go through one by one and rename everything. Now, if you have the artboards all named already, then you can just remove the, the file name and replace it with nothing, and then it just changes it to the artboard name. So now you have everything done, all the file types, okay? So it quickly does that. And then what I do is I come in here and I open up all my SVGs. You could probably sort this by type, but um, it's honestly not that difficult. Then I just open it with Illustrator. That's my default. You might have to open as. And now because I have my command Q set up as export, I can quickly make the DXS, DXF files. And if you know anything about DXF, you know that you can't export that as the um, the artboard. So you have to do this step separately, but because everything's already done, I can hit Command Q, save, and then hit Command W to close that window. And then bam, now we're just going down the list. And it's this quick to get them all done. Okay. And in less than six minutes, I have all the files exported, okay? Now, since I have those ones separated already, the SVGs, I can hit new folder with selection, make those all, S make that the SVG folder. And then what I can do is come up here and search for DXF. And I'm gonna search in my folder that I wanna work in. So that's my example folder. And I'm gonna do new folder with selection. I'm gonna call that DXF. And now I can use the same shortcut, Command W, to get rid of that. Come back here, do .jpg to get the JPEG ones. And then new folder with selection, PNG, and Command W to close that all again, X out of that. 
And now I can just come in here and select those ones, new folder, and make those the, oh wait, this was JPEG. So this one needs to be PNG. So now you have a folder that is completely ready to upload. You have to zip it up, obviously, but now you have something done and exported like within seven minutes, totally finished. Now you obviously just have to make the listing photos, but this has made things so much quicker for me. I don't know why I didn't think of this sooner, but now that I know it, I'm never gonna go back. So this is a game changer. So I just wanted to share that tip for you. I hope that's helpful. Like I said, this goes for anyone who's using multiple artboards in Illustrator and needs them all to have different names, not just like flower one, two, three, four. This definitely makes things so much easier. I was using the rename tool, but I was going one at a time. And now that I know I can just replace the first section of the name and it renames it with the artboard, it, it makes things so quick. I don't know why I didn't know this sooner or like test this out sooner, but I'm so glad I, I learned it now. It's making bundles so much quicker to gather and get together, you know? And that command Q shortcut definitely is a time saver. I've been doing that for a while now and that just makes things a breeze. It makes creating those DXF files like so quick that I forget what I'm doing sometimes. So that's my little quick tip of the day. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll talk to you next time.